Villa Oponer was a walkthrough attraction, also called a funhouse. This is a Coaster Stop theme park documentary about Villa Oponier at the amusement park Liseberg in Gothenburg, Sweden. Please subscribe to Coaster Stop and press the like button down below. Villa Oponier or Villa Upside Down in English was an attraction that lasted for 12 years at Liseberg. But in true Coaster Stop tradition, I want to take you back in time. Quite long to be honest. And again, with the help of Lisapedia, Lisapedia's website for history, I have some pretty good information to share with you in this video. Let's take our time machine back to 1923. Yes, that is right, the opening year of Lisapedia. In June the same year, Lisapedia's first ever funhouse opened in the park. It were in the park until 1930, when the building was demolished but was fast replaced by a new funhouse in 1931. Lustia Huset, as it was named, closed in 1954. This means that there were actually two funhouses at Liseberg for a few years. Because again, we need to talk about another house that opened at this time. Let's turn back the time to 1946. Because in this year, Liseberg opened an attraction called Snurria Huset, or in English, the Dizzy House. The attraction's name was actually Mystiska Huset, or the House of Mystery. Fun fact about Snurria Huset is that before arriving to Liseberg, it had great success at Tivoli Gardens in Copenhagen, Denmark. At the opening ceremony in 1946, the CEO of Liseberg, Einar Ekström, said In there, we turn all the laws of nature upside down. There we make the water flow uphill, rolling balls as well. Then the carpets are on the ceiling. Everything is upside down, so you get dizzy. I want you all to try to remember those sentences that Einar said for later on in this video, because history will repeat itself. Snurria Huset was at Liseberg for three seasons. It would have been way longer if it wasn't for the fire in the right blue target. The fire sadly destroyed Snurria Huset too much, so Liseberg had to remove the ride. In 1949, Liseberg opened the park as usual, but without Snurria Huset. My guess is that the house was missed by many, but it took the park many, many years before they brought back a fun house again to Liseberg. But we're not really ready yet to go to Villa Uponier. First, another fun house made its way to the park. In 1961, Liseberg opened the fun house Glada Tyrolen. Sadly, there is not much information about this attraction. I can tell you though that it was owned by Gunnar Månsson AB, as so many other rides in the park by this time. Glada Tyrolen was present at Liseberg until 1968 and was then removed to make way for Spelhuset or the Arcade Hall, which is still in the park to this day. It would again take plenty of years before the park brought back another funhouse. But in winter 1984, Lisebay started work on an expansion of the park. They had some time earlier bought a piece of land on the other side of the Mundal River. And this is where a brand new expansion is being built. In 1985, Liseberg opened this new area of the park called Å andra sidan. Å andra sidan opened together with Kaffekoppen, Cinema 180, or Cinema 180 degrees as it actually says in the sign, 
an ice cream store called Glasrånet and Villa Upp och Ner. The later being the star of this theme park documentary. I know most of you are waiting for something. Where is the explanation to the Gothenburg jokes? Don't you worry, I have not forgot about them. Here we go. I just said that the name of the expansion is called Å andra sidan. In the middle of Liseberg there is a river named Mundals Ån. Å is Swedish for river, but Å can also be used as and or on. Å andra sidan would in English mean in the other side, but the Å is used in the middle to point out that it is on the other side of the river. There is one more here. Glasrånet. Glass is Swedish for ice cream. Rånet in this case refers to the waffle cone for the ice cream. Glasrån is ice cream cone. But rån is also robbery. Glasrånet is again a play on words and Liseberg is being funny by naming the store like this. Ice cream robbery. Haha, <laughs> very funny. And by the way, there is an O in there because Glasrånet is also in the other side of the river. I'm not sure if you are subscribing or unsubscribing when you hear me talk about the past Gothenburg jokes that has been at Liseberg. But I would be very happy if you were to press the little red button under this video. Villa Opponer opened with Å andra sidan in 1985. It has been 17 years since the last one, and oh, was it missed! This attraction fast became a guest favorite and a must when visiting the park. The real charm with the villa wasn't only the inside though, it was really fun to look at from the outside too. I mean, a house placed upside down. What can go wrong? It looked fantastic. I told you to remember something. I hope you did because here we go. The CEO Einar said something about the old funhouse Snurria Huset. Here's the explanation of Villa Opponer, copied directly from Lisepedia. The house was built in the spirit of madness and literally stood on its head. Nothing was right, neither outside nor inside. Floors and ceilings changed places and sloping walls and sloping floors made every step an adventure. A memorable detail is the water faucet outside the house that seemed to float in the air. The short explanation of Villa Opponer is very similar to Snurria Hus back in the 40s. I like to think that the park looked at its history when designing Villa Opponer and made it an ode to Snurria Hus. As with many other theme park documentaries here on Coaster Stop, I have to put in a lot of time to source information, pictures and videos. There is no videos whatsoever from this attraction that I have been able to track down. But a few pictures have been found, which is amazing. If you have videos or pictures from old Liseberg rides or buildings, I'm always happy if you like to share them with me and maybe they could end up in a future theme park documentary. Is the theme park documentary over though? No, I have more. The history of Villa Oponier has a bit more information. In 1986, Villa Oponier got a second floor, which made the ride both bigger, exciting and more fun. In 1988, more things happened. A new room was introduced to the house. This is the only room that I actually have found written information of what it contained. The room was pitch black and sometimes flashes went off and that made your shadows stuck to the walls for a little while. In 1994, the house was modernized again with new rooms. Sadly, there is not much information what was in the rooms, so if you remember, please let me know. 
In September 1996, Villa Oponier was closed and demolished. This to make way for the new expansion, Öster om Ån, with Liseberg's hamn and the Intermin water ride Colorado, which you can find more information about in my theme park documentary about Colorado. Since then, we haven't had another fun house at Liseberg. And this is a missed attraction, be so sure. In 2020, Liseberg made a competition on their Facebook to see which was the most popular ride at Liseberg that doesn't exist anymore. Villa Oponier won. And Villa Oponier was up against some really cool old rides in the park. For example, Spin Rock, Liseberg Slopen and Hangover. Villa Oponier still won. Are you waiting for the last Gothenburg joke? Of course you are. Villa Oponier itself. It's a Gothenburg joke that is very, very simple. Villa is villa or house. Op is up and O is and or river and near is down. So villa upside down, but the river is crammed in there for the Lisebergh spirit. Will we see a new version of Villa Oponier at Lisebergh in the future? Honestly, I think so. And it could actually be sooner than later. Let's see what the future holds for us. You have watched a Coaster Stop theme park documentary about Villa Oponier at Lisebergh in Gothenburg, Sweden. Please like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more videos and theme park documentaries. And thank you so much for watching.